I'm the Metalhead Maniac Sledge. I'm from San Luis Obispo, California, and I'm a hard-hitting son of a bitch. My home life wasn't the best growing up. My dad passed when I was 12 years old, so I fell into a depression after that. My family fell apart. He was like the glue that held everything together. And the only thing that really got me out of that depression, but feeling really angry, was music. At that time, playing music is I start hanging out with the wrong people, and I start drinking. I start drinking around 13, 14 years old, and I just kept drinking and kept partying and getting into trouble. That built up aggression that I had from just being so angry that my, my dad was my, my absolute everything. And with him dying the way he did, just out of nowhere, absolutely destroyed me. I wasn't a popular kid in school. I was short, fat, and I got picked on a lot. And every time I came home, my dad always reassured me that everything was gonna be okay. And when you don't have that reassurance, you don't know what to do. So I just rebelled and I got into trouble. When I was 18 years old, I, I got arrested. After I got arrested, I became homeless. And thankfully, my sister saved my life. You know, I still had that chip on my shoulder that no one could tell me anything better and just wanting to lash out at the world. Um, I started fighting, had a couple of amateur fights. But professional wrestling, man, and playing music is what I really, you know, what I really love to do. And I started playing in a band and started touring, but I, at the same time, you know, when I was touring in a band, I was, I was drinking. But still loving professional wrestling, and still knowing that professional wrestling is what I wanted to do. And I, uh, I decided to go to professional wrestling school because I did, something was just driving me that way. But I started partying even harder. I got hurt early on in my wrestling career as well, where uh, my L4 and my L5, and they told me I should stop wrestling, and I said no, and I just suppressed everything with pain pills. So I was mixing pain pills and alcohol, and that's a pretty deadly combination. And at the time, I was going through a, a, a bad marriage. And when you have your, your wife leaving with your newborn, you don't really have a purpose to live anymore. I'm not supposed to be in this chair right now. I'm not supposed to be here at Ring of Honor. I'm supposed to be dead in some kind of gutter. I, I dumped all the alcohol down, down, down the drain. I dumped all the pills down the drain and I detoxed. And that was six years ago. I haven't looked back. What drives me is professional wrestling and my family. In March of 2020, I signed my official deal with Ring of Honor. And then the world crashes with COVID-19. Here I am, accomplished the goal, got my contract at Ring of Honor, and then the world shuts down. After just waiting and waiting and waiting by the phone, waiting for the phone call, I got it. And I'm facing somebody that I know extremely well from the Ring of Honor dojo, and that's you, O'Shea. Two big guys on the collision course. You've been waiting and I've been waiting. But if you think that I've been at home for the last seven months and just waiting, no, I've been training. I've been in that weight room. I'm down 40 pounds. I'm as lean and as fast as ever. I've defeated every single demon in my life. And there's no doubt that I'm going to defeat you.